Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This package was sent to me directly by QSP. Uh, a couple of new models uh, they thought I might be interested in checking out. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. Thank you so much, QSP. I will link these knives right down in the description if you guys want to check them out. As per usual, when you use my links, it supports the channel, but that's up to you. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and probably right here. Okay, yeah. Looks right. Okay. Yep. I know what I'm doing. One and two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open up the smaller one first. With QSP, I think these boxes are the less, well, <laughs> I was about to say less, less expensive, but that looks pretty nice. What is this? So here, well, there we go. Not a very nice front flipper. Uh, the Gannett, G-A-N-N-E-T-T, 154CM, I always love seeing 154CM blade steel. Carbon fiber, bolster, linen micarta handle. Uh, so we have red, sort of red and black carbon fiber, and then some linen micarta on the handle. Here's what I like right off the bat about this. It's a liner lock, and it's a front flipper. It's not a frame lock, right? Uh, yeah, that, um, that's something that brings me joy. That's something that uh, I'm happy about. Now the finish on this, we have a satin finish. Let me take a closer look at this. I don't know if that, that's, I mean, it's pretty polished. Yeah, okay, maybe I was just seeing a fingerprint. Is this hand rubbed? The reason I ask is because all the lines are, I'm getting rid of my fingerprints or whatever was on it from before I unboxed it, sorry about that. All the lines are horizontal. They, they kind of go up. Is it the same on this side? These are a little straighter. Okay. Well, I'm kind of just, you know, satin finishes in general, they kind of bug me for a lot of reasons. It's okay. I kind of would have preferred a tumbled finish, I think. But it's all right. Uh, I like the front flipper for sure, and I definitely like the profile. Pocket clip is also good. I'm going to guess that there are... Lots of different variants of this available. So if the black and red are not your cup of tea, then you'll probably have some other choices. Very cool. I'm gonna guess that's kind of a medium range knife. Probably sub 100, but I'm not really sure, honestly. Okay, and then this one here, probably gonna be a more, oh yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely gonna be a little more expensive. Did we have two? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, wow, okay, M390. Now, this is a different, here's a, let me clean this off here and show you guys. If there's, if you're going to do a satin finish, I think this is probably a little bit better, the machine satin finish. Well, actually, I like a, um, what is this, by the way, before I get to yakking about it. Where's the, th okay, here we go. The Legatus. M390, titanium, and carbon fiber. Between these two finishes, normally I prefer a hand rub satin finish over machine satin, but this actually looks a little bit better. This is also, obviously, a more expensive knife. Action, very good. QSP is great with fit and finish, stuff like that. A little bit boxy, um, and I requested this one. Um, actually, when they said, is there anything you want to check out? Um, this, I think, was the new one. I said I'd also like to check out this guy. A little bit boxy on the scales. The carbon fiber, at first here I was thinking, oh, it's, it's not cut correctly, but it's actually lipped intentionally a bit higher than the titanium on both sides. So that's, in, that's definitely intentional. Pretty good. Uh, nice pocket clip, nice backspacer, steel lock bar inserts. No double clutch, no detent lash, solid, no pivot lash. Nice and smooth too. I'll give you guys a Look there, just a little bit of encouragement to get that to go down. Yeah, okay, more of what we've seen, but definitely still interesting. This guy undoubtedly will be much more expensive just given the materials and, I don't know, the all-around feel of this, you know, tells me that this is much more like probably, probably, probably 200 plus. I don't know, maybe QSP will surprise me. I, I, I like to do these blind 
right? Even though I requested these, I try not to look at the price because it's, it's fun for me to just experience them guess, right? Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. In any case, this is not a review. This is an unboxing and first impressions. It doesn't make any sense to review these. So after I spend some time, I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense to review these immediately after having just opened them. Uh, after I've had some time to experience them, you guys will get full comprehensive reviews two, three weeks down the road. So you can stick around for that. In the meantime, if you want to check these out in the links down in the description, you are perfectly welcome to do that. Uh, I do like that this is a liner lock. I, for whatever reason, they did cut this out. Why does it feel? Maybe it's just my math. I'm, a, I'm not approaching it correctly. <laughs> you have to approach the mechanism correctly to get it to work. Anyways, thank you again to QSP for sending these in for me to take a look at. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.